because this is who everyone needs to know. Yeah? At times we see, we see it's intimidating, but at times we're saying, no, you are a brother, you are a father, you are a friend. So we want to know that person who came and became something. So, a grandfather, exactly, see? <laughs> Fantastic. So let me give you this mic, and then let me operate this one so it, it's not too heavy for you. Let's see. Hello? Fantastic. Uh, that's better. Yeah. So let me start with our first space. The big things, the development things, because that's who we are here at TCDC. We talk matters, governance, leadership, development. What keeps you awake today at night, those big things, global things, the challenges that you feel I have to be part of that solution? Well, no nothing keeps me awake. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, they <laughs> you love your sleep. I, me too. Nothing these, really keeps me days, awake. These days I sleep <laughs> soundly. Uh, yes. <laughs> and I wake up in the morning fresh. I, s I finish my sleep. That's fantastic. Because when, uh, wh when I was in office as minister, there was, this, there was just a lot. Minister, I said as minister for water, energy, and minerals, and the water sector is a headache. Uh, electricity is a problem. The mining sector, oh, you can, you can, you can say it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you, you, you always go back home with a lot of things, with a lot of things you think about. At times you go back home with files. Then of course I became Minister of Finance for a very short period of time, but uh, it's one of the most challenging ministries because, you know, I've been telling people that the hardest thing to be a leader in a poor country. <laughs> when they, they, when they, there, isn't in, they, they, there isn't enough resources and everybody, everybody comes to you, uh, he or she believes that you have the money and when you say you don't have it, he thinks you, 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 <laughs> you are godless. <laughs> I remember the one time uh, Sarungi, Professor Sarungi was Minister for Health and I was Minister of Finance and he was demanding money for the hospitals and so on. When I was telling him, look here, I don't have, an, uh, I, I, I don't have uh, all the money that you'd need, at least, but I have some money I'm going to give you. And then I remember at one meeting, he was telling the president, I said, you hana mungu This guy is godless. <laughs> It's godless because he does not give me the money so that I can take care of the patients in, in the hospitals. Mm -hmm. So th th those, those were some of those difficult moments. And when you become president, it is even worse because every problem is yours. Mm -hmm. There is nothing you can, you can pass on to somebody else. There is nobody you can blame for the things that uh, So then, then, of course, you, you go home with your files and at times you you have files on the bed, and uh, Salma asks me, where do we sleep? <laughs> <laughs> so I say, just push some of the files. <laughs> Make room. Sleep on the other side. Mm. When I wake up, I continue with my, <laughs> with, with my files. Yeah. So this, 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 this is a time where, where really, really I, I had to do a lot, I had to do a lot these days. No, oh, there's an alala too. Of course, yeah. it's it's all when when I I have I have something to do. At times, I've got to to work overnight. Mm. Just like yesterday, when I was looking at what 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 to tell these young people. Yes, nah. yes, yes. So that's that's and then when you look at the the dates and the numbers, you look here. That that's that's uh, those moments are not there. Yeah. You know, when I was president, you know, we'd be, we'd be flying from Dar es Salaam, Dubai, and then yeah. fly yeah. to New York for the meetings. Yeah. And well, on the because you go to meetings and you have uh, you have speaking engagements, several yes. several yes. speaking yes. engagements, and these guys would always give you the drafts. Yeah. 
And you're so on the plane, everybody else is asleep. <laughs> <laughs> you are busy working, and even, <laughs> even the hostesses come, hey, sir, you, you, you're working so hard. Yeah. And say, yes, I have to. Yeah. Yes. So that, that's it. But otherwise, okay. these days, I, 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 I do the things I, I want to do. Yes. Uh, because but when, when you are in office, you do the things that others want you Cute to do. Too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you meet the people that they want you to see. Yeah. At times, you don't even see the people you would have liked to see. Mm. Mm. Because they've just blocked them there. They say, ah, pano es kumona raisi ya. Jana na. Yeah. Pengeni wa sumbufu tu. Yeah. Na, lata. Nenda kamuane katibu kata wako. Yeah, 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 yeah. It seems uh, you've taken the transition well, and which is good. Uh, do you think for you there's any shock in transition? I don't know if you call this retirement. Is this retirement what you're doing now? Are you retired? Well, of course, I, I am retired compared okay. to what I've been doing. Yeah. Uh -huh. And it, how is you know, that? It does not compare. You know, the, the presidency is a huge thing. Mm. And does not compare. I cannot even give it 10% or 5% mm. of what I'm doing now. No, no, no. Mm. It's th that is something else. Mm. You know, <laughs> that's why I really admire those who've been in office for a long time. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like how do you do it, yeah? Yeah. Because uh, that's people's lives. <laughs> I really admire them. <laughs> I, I, ha I had 10 years and I think it was enough. <laughs> <laughs> Never again. Yeah, okay. But okay, um, if you look back and take us back, when do you th believe was the defining moment that put you on the trajectory to, you know, leadership and also to inform your leadership style? Was there a moment? Mm, I don't know because, you know, the... I've been, I've been in different leadership positions. I cannot really say which one really, because I, well, some people say, okay, leadership traits are inherited, fine. If you say that, then, then my, gra my grandfather was, uh, was a local leader there. Hmm? <laughs> 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 uh, but, but, but I don't know. I don't know. Because, you know, because when, you know, in, so I, I, li I lived with him. Yeah. Because my father was, was a civil servant. And, um, but my grandfather chose me to, to be there with him mm. at his court. Mm. So, mm. Mm. But I was learning nothing because mm. he was doing his work. Yeah. I, was not, I was not a part. I was not a party to it. Mm. <laughs> I did not know he goes, to, he goes to his court, he comes back. Yeah. Uh, there are times when uh, I would see him like for care what to pass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so I, don't, I, 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 ca I cannot pretend that at uh, the time I was staying with my grandfather that I learned uh, an, an, anything about, about, uh, about mm. leadership because I was so tiny. Uh, well, was, maybe uh, subconsciously. <laughs> Can you attribute it to <laughs> that? <Maybe. laughs> well, uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, because uh, I, was busy, I was busy playing my, <laughs> playing my, my football as yeah. a tambala <laughs> Yes, that, that's it. Yeah. And then, uh, well, I'll, I'll come back home, uh, mm. <laughs> eat my ugali, mm. and, and sleep. Mm. <laughs> Wake up in the morning, go to school, come back, mm. play, and then... Yeah. So I had nothing to do with it, of yeah. course. <clears throat> so that's it. But <clears throat> at, uh, at, at school, that's when I... In, 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 in primary school, I was, I was just a normal kid, notorious at times, tundu, <laughs> being punished to go do that, do that. Uh, like, 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 in a, like, in a, like in a, another kid growing up. Mm. Of course, it was in secondary school when I began to try some leadership positions. I became chairman of the Students' Council in a school that uh, 
had uh, I, I was at form two. I was in form two, and the school had up to form six. Mm. <laughs> they elected me. Mm. <laughs> they <Okay>. elected me. <laughs> <laughs> but but because I was noisy, <laughs> I could make a lot of noise, and uh, I had the courage of saying anything. Mm. Mm. <laughs> saying anything to anybody, probably that uh, if if. Uh, yeah, okay. and then uh, I was chairman, of course, of the, of, of the youth league branch at, at, at secondary school at Kibaha. I did the same at Tanga School High School, and then when I was at the university, I also in the leadership of the of the youth movement there, of the Tanzanian Youth League. Um, the University of Dar es Salaam. Then I was I was leader of the student government at the at Dar es Salaam campus. And, uh, I was I was I was the boss there. <laughs> At that time, you know, the university had um, the University of Islam had only three, three, three campuses. I joined the university in 1972, <coughs> so it had three. That, the, the, the main campus mm -hmm. at, the, at, the, at the hill, the university hill, and then you had Morogoro, the university of the main, uh, the faculty of agriculture, mm -hmm. and then you had. Um, Mohimbiri, mm, they were that time the faculty of medicine, and then we had the university, the main campus. So we had, we had a federal system of government. Uh, we, we, we had a, a, a every, 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 every campus elects its own leader. And then we, 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 we elect a president, the overall for the whole, for the whole university the Dar es Salaam University Students Organization. So the three of us were vice presidents. Mm. So I was vice president, but actually the, in charge of the university <laughs> itself. Uh, yeah, yeah. And uh, we had our own government, I had my own ministers. I had, the first time I had an opportunity to appoint ministers. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, amazing. I appoint ministers, I could suck them. <laughs> 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 Gave you good practice. Yeah, right? so Gave you good practice. probably that's it. And then, of course, uh, after that, then I, 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 I was employed by, 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 by the ruling party. Mm. Well, I think it is, again, because we were a bit noisy and so... Noticed. So you I, were noticeable. I, uh, one day I was called for an interview. So I was called to the offices of, uh, of Tanu Youth League at the university. Those who are familiar with the university now, that is where there is the NBC branch. That mm, mm, yeah. mm, yes, that, that's that's used to be office of the party. Oh, wow. Yes, that used to be equal office of Chama Ile. So we had town youth league offices there, and then we also had, we also had mm. town offices. The town offices was 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 there, but the the, the youth offices were, was bigger because mm. we, we we are so many of us. So and then yeah. we, are, we are called there, so I went there. Uh, well, I found three, three senior leaders. There was uh, John Mohabile, that time he was the uh, chief executive secretary of TANU. Mm. Then there was Pius Simseko, who was the vice chancellor. And there was Joseph Butiku, Major Butiku, who was the, the private secretary to President Nyerere. So we <laughs> went. And then there was Daudi Makawago, mm, who was the, the, the the publicity sector of mm. Tano. Mm. Oh, I went there and said, okay, fine, hello, how are you, fine? Mm. Shikamoni was say, marahaba, ujambo, misjambo. Mm. Uh -huh. Yeah, we called you. Uh, we called you, we want to talk to you. Mm. Are you ready to work for the party? I said, no, that's fine. Mm. Yeah. I said, waiting for, for Tano. <laughs> that's, that's great. <laughs> so that's it. <laughs> so we feed the interview Here and we then we, we left. Yeah. And then from there, then I... Here we are. Yes. yes. Then uh, <laughs> from there, I, uh, if we, which was before I finished university, after that, we were given letters. We said, uh, we were given letters. I was given a letter that you have to go to report at Mulumumba. So I went to Lumumba, reported there. I said, okay, fine. You're going to be Tanu's assistant secretary for Singida region. Mm. So, uh, you, know, you know, at times, so uh, I said, Sigida, I copy. <laughs> so I had to, of course, I knew that I knew Singida was Singida, but I had to get a map now to relocate really the place. 
Because when I was told to work with the, with the party, my, my, my interest really was, was to go to Kivukoni, because I, I, I like teaching. Mm. I wanted, wanted to go to Kivukoni, train the cadres, and so on. But I was given this job. So I, I, I went there. Okay. Uh, I went there. And uh, during those days, you travel with the Kamata bus. Yeah? Yeah. So I, I go to Kamata, head to head of the offices. We get. We arrive in the morning. <coughs> Nobody tells us anything. Yeah, just a sub. Subirin, 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 subirin. <laughs> Just be patient. Just be patient. So, we started the journey at 3 p.m. That's <laughs> 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 the journey at 3 p.m. We wow, traveled all night. And the, door, those, the roads those days were not so good. So I arrived in Singida, mm, I think close to midnight the other day, the next the following day. Wow. I was received. There, yeah, they were already ready for me. That's it. So that's how I started life. Imagine. <laughs> Look at that. It's interesting so. because, uh, you know, the other thing, I started life, you know, I had virtually nothing. Mm. I had virtually nothing. And uh, so I arrived there. I arrived there. And uh, those days, you know, when. And uh, I think it's still the same. When you when you're employed for the first time, you have an uh, you, you, there's a facility of you staying in a uh, in in the in the in the uh, in the terms of service they call hotel. But in fact, there are no hotels there. It's just a guest house, <laughs> a guest house. Wow, 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 bus. <laughs> So I stayed there for, for uh, you stayed there for 14 days, and then before that, then I got a room. This time I, I went to Singida to show my sons where I grew up. I got a small room, mm. and I had nothing. So a friend, a friend of mine at the, the town offices gave me a bed, a banco bed, small one, and uh, with a mattress. When you put that in, the, in, the, in, the, in that tiny room, you can put nothing else. So <laughs> I had a stool where I put my bag and another stool where I put my, my record player. Mm, mm, uh, <laughs> GF 148, I put my record player. <laughs> so that's it. That's it. And then a, 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 a room, there was room for a bucket. So, yeah. uh, so that, that, that's, how, that's how I started life. You know, it's... Uh, that, that's the, real, the reality of life. And mm. so well. <laughs> Kwa, Kwa, I think, you know, mm. what I'm hearing, and I think this is important also for us to keep um, at the back of our minds always, even in the hustle and struggle, is that first, you know, you were willing. So, you know, you're just, okay, let's do this, you know. That was critical, I think, to, you know, the path. But also the humility and modesty when you got there. So, mm. you know, trusting the journey. Let's go. Let's see where it leads us. So I think that's, again, lessons we could take um, from you and your experience. Here Radio, I'm sure Badwe Konyumbani as a souvenir. Mm. Yeah, you know, you know, because <laughs> this, 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 is the, 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 this is the reality of life, you know. When, 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 when you see me president now, mm. uh, now I have a bigger house. And there's, did you guys see the one on TV? Yes. Uh, yeah. hey, hey, my friend. Yeah, Woo. now I get a, I get a <laughs> bigger <laughs> house. But, you know, but I, I started from very humble beginnings. Yeah. Yeah. If, if, if that friend of mine did not give me that bank of bed, I would be sleeping on the floor because there, there was nothing I could do. Mm, mm. Because you are given a facility of staying in this guest house. Oh, ah, my henchman, you know, you are terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know this one. <laughs> <laughs> Let me switch off this one. You know. <laughs> it's spoiling my, my night here. <laughs> No, the, 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 the point uh, I'm saying is uh, when, when, when someone sees, sees you as president, mm. they, they, they think you started at that level. Mm. 
and 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 if you see pictures of of, of that house, of that house where I started, ile ni nyumba ambayo ni matofali mabichi. Literally. Yes, a bit a small one, a small one. But that that that, that that's it. one that is what I can afford. Mm. I could afford at that time. Mm. Yes. Mm. And then from there then I get I get I get my first salary that's when I, I start thinking of buying a bed. Mm. Uh, buying a mattress. Mm. And then buying buying buy, buying uh, uh, coaches. Mm. Uh, yes. Uh, you know that that's it. Mm. So that that's and then you so what, I, what I'm really saying, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm saying this because it, some of our young people, you know, have, have, have fa fan, fan, fancy ideas mm. that after I finish the university, mm. uh, then there is going to be this, there's going to mm. be that. There was nothing. Mm. Virtually there was nothing. And mm. as I was saying, you know, traveling from Dar es Salaam to Singida those days was, the, the, the bus would break down mm. at night, you, you, you were spending the night in the bus. <laughs> you wake up in the morning and they travel a whole day, arrive there the next day, <laughs> midnight. And so the other day we traveled from Dar es Salaam. Now, of course, we've done the road. Mm. From, from, from Dodoma now to, to Singida is, is about two and a half hours. You know, you can imagine those days it takes you eight hours. Eight hours, a place of 250 kilometers these days, and the road is the road is good, and the times, of course, when we drive, I want to touch it. Privilege. So we, yeah. we move fast. So that the point. This is this is this is the important thing to know that you have you you have to accept reality that if you have you you, you start from nothing. Yeah. Yes. Don't don't don't, uh, don't uh, think of a life where you will have everything everything there. No. Mm. Mm. Hey, of course, after retired, he was a senior civil servant, mm. but his salary was 3000 at that time plus, which was super scale. So he retires. Mm. He, he gets uh, how much of that? So he, 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 he just gave me about 300 shillings. So when I talk to my grandfather, my grandchildren that I started with 300 shillings, they say, ah, it's not possible. <laughs> so you can't even buy a soda, how possible? <laughs> but it was possible at that, at that yeah. time. So okay. that's it. Mm. That, that's that's why I have my, my, my life, I, I'm really grounded with, with, with the, reality, the reality of life because that, that is how I grew you up. You came up. Yes. That's how I grew up. Yes. Right? Yes. <laughs> Namba ni kuhamisha kidogo. To ende na nitatumia Kiswahili ili na wengine ambao hawangei Kiingereza waweze kufuatilia. Kwenye uongozi wako kama rahisi. Je, kuna kipindi ambacho ulipaswa au ulifanya maamuzi magumu lakini you personally struggled with it? No. <coughs> I know it was an everyday factor. People's lives are in your hand, but was there that one heavy burden on your heart that you're like, you struggled with it? No, you know, there are, there are when you're president, you know, the presidency has, has two sides. There is the covert side. Where it's secret, it's, it's always you and your files. Some of these files are top secret. Siri Kabisa, Siri Kubwa. <laughs> and and the, and there is the public side. Mm. So there there are, there are there are difficult moments that you you get you get so many challenges and you and and, and the other thing about the presidency, mm. it's a very it's a very lonely job. You know, you have so many, you have so many people around you. Mm. You have so many assistants. Mm. You have the director general of security gives you a lot of stuff. The, the, the people in the defense give you a lot of stuff. You have ministers, mm. but all of them send you dockets. At the end of the day, 
you are all alone to decide. So it's a, it's a, it's a very lo 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 lonely job. <clears throat> this is what gives you sleepless nights because there are times you, 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 you get a file in, in, in the office, you read it, and you have to decide on it. You, you go, okay, fine, I'll sleep over it. You take it home, you read it again. Say, oh, I'll read tomorrow. Then, so th th there, are, there are so many di 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 difficult things that, that you, have to, you, have, you, have, you have to decide on. But as I'm saying, everything is sent to you. Mm. And some of the things are easy. Mm. I think the easiest things are the appointments. Mm. Uh, and unless, uh, and uh, yeah. because there, 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 is a, there is a lot of work that has been done. Yes. Yeah. There are people who are doing the vetting. Mm. So when, when you get somebody to appoint, so easy. The easy that is perhaps the easiest thing, uh, unle unless you get somebody who is controversial. Mm. It's controversial, and they will tell you this. We are proposing this one, but this one, mm. eh? <laughs> when you appoint him, know that there is going to be this. There is going to be that. Mm. You ask them why did you propose him, <laughs> but they say the beauty about the beauty about, the beauty about this guy is he he is, he can do this and this and this and this. So it's up to you to to, to choose. But mm. the easiest. But there are, there, are, there are some things that, that are really difficult and you have got to decide. Well, th those are many, you know. Kukuoro, yeah. the share company. No, Kabisa. No, na kueleo. Sito mauna mwona raise likuwa amikuwa mekwenda kimikia kijana sasa ano onekana amesek. Lakini ataka po staff. Na ato ato chenga mkata mini lianza kuzeka sasa. Yeah. Yeah, no, there are no. no. There are times when you have to make big decisions, both, both on the internal side, at times also with the relations with with with, with the outside, with neighbors, with, mm. with the world. There are issues in the world where the, you are you are asked to pronounce yourself, and there are no easy answers. It's not a one plus one is equal to two. Mm. Yeah? Uh, at times one plus one is maybe three or four. Mm. You know, mm. that is the arithmetic in in, in, <laughs> in <leadership>. presidency. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, in, but labda to rudi apo kwenye sasa my points of files. Siri kubwa na kubwa zaidi na hi useseme kabisa. How? Ingine na ndiko Siri tu. Eh, Siri. Siri. Ingine Siri. Eh, Siri kubwa. Siri kubwa. Safi. Tumesha juu ma file jamani. Wewe kama wewe. Mengine, mengine na kujia ni open files. The, yeah. The, there is no security classification. Yeah. When yeah. there is no security classification. Yeah. Ine sawa. But, but I could imagine. Ine sawa kwa wewe tu. Sasa. Hata, hata ukitoka humambi mtu. <laughs> but maybe. Sitake kujuezo siri kubwa. But. Sasa vuta kumbukumbu umetuambia kwa usu babu yako ulikuwa kulo unacheza unamuona unanini na nini. I'm sure kwa na ilo file la siri kubwa. Mm. Where were you running to such that you can make the best decision? What was your space? No, the, 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 the important thing about the presidency is um, you, you have a lot of backup. Mm. And, 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 and unless you have stupid advisors. <laughs> and if they are stupid, why did you choose them? <laughs> Don't put stupid people. Eh? Garbage in? Garbage, Garbage out. out. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, 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 a, it's a tough job. Mm. But you have a lot of backup. The government, the government has so many things. So now you and the man are going to be in a situation where the government says, "Me, me, 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 in the whole of this chain, mm. yes, but it is something that has been thoroughly studied, well analyzed, mm. and when they give it to you, they say that these are the options. Mm. 
ama hiki, ama hiki, mm. ama hiki. Mm. And for each of the options, they will always tell you that. If you decide on this one, these are the benefits and these are the, 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 the consequences. Mm. These are the pros and cons. So you, ha you, have, you have a wealth of, 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 of or you, you get informed advice. Mm. So you say, unless you have, you have problems now, na some, some of the advisors. Mm. Yeah. It, it's, it's the same with ministers. Mm. Of course, at times, we had a secretary ambaye amekaa pale kwenye wizara kwa muda mrefu. Akawa ananiambia sasa wale 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 the deputy permanent secretaries wale. Nasema mzee kuna huyu mmoja huyu ana tabia kuleta mambo unapokaribia kutoka. Huyu huyu mjanja mjanja huyu. Kwa an, anapoleta na, na kuomba tu raisi o waziri, yeah. eh? waziri uwe, uwe, uwe mtulivu kidogo. Mm, mm, mm. Eh, asi. Na, na ni kweli, kabla uja ondoka sa waziri, waziri. <laughs> Asa usipo, usipo tazama sa wasawa vale, unaingia mkenge. Then una, <laughs> unafanya wamuzi, kesho yake una, unasikitika na. Wako atuwa na mnayo, lakini, lakini na ye mwenye uko na ya mecha. Ameshaeka mambo yake sawa sasa ana anasukuma pale ukimkamilishia tu ye ye dili zake zimekwenda sawa. Kwa hiyo I don't know mazingira halisi. These are the reality. These are the people that you work with. Kwa ukisha 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 hiyo fortunately sasa hapa kwa mfano una secretary yule ambaye anajua. Anajua mambo mengi. Hata jambo likija nasema hili jambo hili lilikuepo toka wakati wa waziri fulani mm. eh yeah. mm. it's always important to have people who have institutional institutional memory mm. particularly in these offices yes. if you think you come there and everybody goes you come with your secretary with everybody you need people who have institutional memory mm. they always say aniambia hili jambo hilo analo kuletea waziri lilishashurikiwa hili toka wakati wa amiri jamal alipokuwa waziri wa fedha na kwa hiyo, and then she, she goes to, to those records. Mm -hmm. She brings those records to you. Mm -hmm. She says, this is the file. Mm -hmm. Alipotoka amiri jamari, siwa kaja nana. Alipokuwepo na kibona, lilileta tena. Mm -hmm. Huyu, huyu ni mkorofi tu. Ile kila kija waziri mpya, analeta. <laughs> <laughs> so, naraia wako hivyo hivyo nao naraia nao wengine wajanja wajanja tu they want to take advantage so unajua lakini lakini the point i'm saying is the minister when when he or she or the president when she makes some of these decisions it's it's uh, unless he, he, he or she ignores advice mm. and she, she or he does what, what he wants to do, mm. um, but otherwise there, there, there is, there is a, an abundance yes. of, of, of backup support mm. to support the minister or, 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 or the president. Okay. Mwepita <laughs> 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 Asa ukimwambia yeye akienda kumwambia rais ana ana tabia ya kumwamini na kumsikiliza. 
Sasa wakati mwingine sasa hawa ambao wana hao wewe ambao unawaamini ambao ni kibinadamu tu. Kwamba unajua tu kwamba fulani hawezi kwa hawezi kunena. Kumbe na wao huko nje huko huko nje sasa eh nao wamegeuza mradi. Eh. Na wanachukua michuzi wanakuja pale. Wakati mwingine <laughs> wakati mwingine wamenufaika wao. Lakini wao wewe innocently hujui. Na kwa sababu he's a person you trust. He may come there and give you advice you t- because you trust him. You get that and then you, at the end of the day you run into hell. Uh, then that's when you know you start to know that you are not alone. You have problems. But at times <laughs> you have learned a lot when mambo yameharibika kweli. Nasi lakini you have to take responsibility. Yeah, absolutely. When you when, when you are a minister when you are president when you are advised unapofanya uamuzi ukiwa mbaya kwenye jamii usirudi kusema fulani alinishauri vibaya mm absolutely ukishachauriwa ukakubali man up yes own it yes own it that you made mm. a wrong decision don't say ah yule mkurugenzi yule ndio amenifishauri ame, ame vibaya a a hapana gani wapeni mfano mzuri tu unajua vitu hivi maisha ni una, unajifunza mimi ndio maana ndio vitu ambavyo mimi nimepata bahati eh, young age kufanya kazi kwenye 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 tano huko walipounganisha tano na ASP and then nikaja kuwa 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 kwa mshua Zanzibar na nikaa nikaa sasa na kwenye vikao vyote vile vikubwa vile vya vya maamuzi vile niko nipo na mimi ndio karani. Mm. Yeah, karani unaandika. Then of course mmoja na mimi nikaja kuwa nikaanika na mimi nikahamasika nikaomba kwa mjumbe wa neki. Alimimba neki moja. Wakati ule wa, wa, wa vita vya uhujumu uchumi. Mwalimu mm. mwalimu alikwenda alikwenda pale damu njibili. Damu njibili akahutubia kuhusu hiki hiki hiki. akawatetea baadhi ya watu walikuwa wana 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 wanasemwa semwa aliporudi wasaidi zake kama ah lakini mnajua mwalimu mkuu sio yule mtetea jambo lenyewe ni hivi kweli sema he felt bad about it kwamba wangemwambia kabla ya pale asingesema yale aliyoyasema kule sasa pale wajumbe wa Nike wakakasirika kweli nasema sasa mwalimu sisi tunataka utuambie huyo aliyekushauri vibaya huyo sisi huyo ndo anayemtia aibu ya rais wetu mm. mwalimu akasema ewe huyo aliyenishauri nyie mnamtakia nini <laughs> mimi ndio nileshauriwa na nikakubali nikishashauriwa nikakubali ni mimi msimtafute yule mshauri wangu hili kama kama nimekosea nimekosea mimi baada ya kushauriwa sasa kama kama mimi baadaye nitakuja kuona mshauri wangu huyu anifai iko siku tu nitamweka pembeni sasa ndio 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 hiyo ni readiness to take responsibility yes hey. yes yeah. that's, that's leadership na yeye mtakuja kuwa viongozi mtakuja kuyaona mimi naambia ni mambo ambayo You, you, you guys we, we, we got in position of leadership and some are already there mm. because some are getting in really position of leadership at a very young age mm. yeah, some you will get to, to that point and these are some of those the realities you you will face in life you have to make decisions you, you, you have to use advice expert advice make informed decisions and informed decisions are based on on, on if you get to get correct informed decisions you have to have a, 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 a competent support team mm. that is going to be give you the correct advice and then you making you make informed decisions but at times now ni binadamu yes they may be influenced yes that is why you can also use informal channels to to verify what what, what you got but if also the, the informal channels are also compromised <laughs> and then you may run into Yeah. At the end of the day you have to take responsibility. Asante sana for that and we're soon to wind down. I've got five minutes I've been told. Uh, 
Eh? Why so soon? Bado uko so soon. Oh yes. 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 <laughs> so, kwa hiyo, let me not hog the space but kuna vitu vitatu I want to do and then maybe I'll open it up. Yes. Lakini as we're doing that, I think Kamala you had run a social media campaign who's the best I don't know in social media. So if there's a winner, just know they'll have their opportunity to ask Mwishimwe a question. So kindly prepare them. Um, lakini, I wanted to transition a bit to your foundation. Mm. Mm. On a foundation, Sasaivi, mm. I wanted you to um, talk to us just about the vision for the foundation. Uh, I've seen your site. There's something there around youth. You've been at ULEAD. Where is the ULEAD um, foundation collaboration there? Because now we're, there's a shared common ground. Like in Chamwish, and um, you don't have to answer all of them, but I just want to give you a heads up. Kwamba, you know, where's your foundation in terms of uh, fundraising, local resource mobilization, homegrown philanthropy, this agenda which we struggle with. Tuachana kutafta watu kule, wapo uku Tanzania, is your foundation in that space. Kwa hiyo naomba tutu anze kwanza, just tell us a bit about your foundation, Kidogo. Well, <coughs> before I left office, my, my people, uh, Togulani, one of them, very bright young people. To go and Yes, yes. has been with me when I was president. He's the one who is writing those good speeches. <laughs> He's a very bright young. <laughs> He's a very bright young guy. Of course, I had January yeah. first, and then uh, he came in. You would put your January couple of Doka. Yes. And then January got ambition of big mm -hmm. politics. Mm -hmm. Then he left me, and then I, 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 I took him to take his place. That is wonderful. So I have, mm -hmm. I have, I have I had a, a team of young people, young people, Nanani, Hawakua, Hawakua, Namzesa, Nani Pare Kwamze, and you can eat me in the But I was not so old. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Labda Mzeki Tima. But otherwise, I had a team of young people. Young people, very bright, have gone to school well, had, had built enough experience. But I also wanted young people because I, I also wanted to train them. Because working with me also is, 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 is a. Is is, is a training ground. Mm. As I've been trained working with the, with the senior, lead, the senior leaders, yeah. working with the senior leaders also, because mentorship does not necessarily, someone comes, okay, sit down here. Hmm? Now listen. Hmm? No. It's me, 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 mentorship also is, is being around them, seeing how they are doing things. That is how you learn. Because mentorship is not, not uh, I, want, I want to be mentored. Yeah, okay, okay, come. <laughs> Th there is nothing I, 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 I can mentor you. Yeah. It's, it's see, see, seeing your leaders doing the things. And if you have, you have good brains, then you learn how things are done. Okay, in this situation, this is how they disappear. In this situation, this is how they disappear. So that's it. Then, yeah. so... <coughs> Before leaving office, the issue has been, what do, you do, what do I do after leaving office? Mm. Mm. Uh, I became president when I was, I was 55. After 10 years, then I was 65. Sio umri ndogo, lakini sio mkubwa sana. I still had some energy left with me. Uh, my brain had not yet developed fog, so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
so, so I, I, th I think, but I had also accumulated a lot of knowledge and experience, which I can gainfully use, utilize on retirement. So what, what, what would that vehicle be? Because I, I, I'm, I'm not president. So I, ca I cannot be calling meetings. No, no, no. And I've done that, I've made so many speeches, and I'm tired of talking about that. That's why when, when I'm always invited to talk, I have a lot of hesitation. Because I'm saying I've, I've spoken a lot. I've had this opportunity. Now it is the turn of those who are here. So <laughs> Then the idea, of course, based on the experience here, yeah, Mwari Mierere with the Mierere Foundation, Mzee Mkapa with the, the, the Ben Mkapa Foundation. Then I said, that's another transition foundation. And, and then that foundation, what, what, what should be the, the areas of focus? Of course, I said, um, I, I, I want to do the things that I had a lot of interest, I had a lot of passion for. Fewer things. I cannot do everything that, that I've been doing as president. Mm. But let me do a few things which, uh, <coughs> which, which I, I, can ha I, can, I, can, I can have uh, an impact. Mm. Uh, so during my presidency, I, I, had a, I spent a lot of time on uh, maternal and child health issues. Mm. I, had a lot, I had a lot of passion for it. My, my, my concern really has been uh, there are there are women die of there are children and women who die of causes that can be prevented. Yeah. Yeah. Diseases that can 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 be cured. Mm. So pregnancy is not a disease. Mm. Not. A woman is not supposed to die of pregnancy. Pregnancy is your maravi. Yes. <laughs> Pregnancy is not, it's not a disease. Pregnancy is something that the family has to celebrate. Yes. That now we are expecting a new member yes. joining the family. Yes. But because of the circumstances we are in, Pregnancy has almost become like a disease. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when a lady is pregnant, people have a lot of worries. Mm -hmm. And the worries are about the survival of the mother yeah. and the survival of the child. The child yes. So it is not to be that. It is not fair, it's not right for a woman to die in the process of giving life to another human being. Mm. But it happens a lot. Mm. We tried hard during my, my, my presidency to reduce maternal mortality. But we, have no, we are not able to meet the target. Mm. Because the MDG target was supposed to be 191 there's for every 100,000 live birth. <laughs> when I left office, it was 432. Mm -hmm. way, out, way beyond that. We were able to, to meet the, the MDG target for under five mortality. Mm -hmm. That one, we made it. We were able to meet that target. We met it, I think, one year, one year ahead of time. One year ahead of time. So that's why we, we did a lot of work on, 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 on maternal health. When we came up with this program of uh, dispensaries at every, 
within a radius of five kilometers. This is what I had in mind. Mm. That at least within a radius of five kilometers, mm. it is easy. First, du during the antenatal period, mm. that at least a woman can go there, visit the, uh, the antenatal clinics, get the attention that, 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 that they deserve. Of course, she can, she, 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 they can even walk in that when, they, when the pregnancy is still young. Of course, when the pregnancy is advanced, they cannot, and during labor, it's impossible to walk. But when it is near, then if, 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 even with a bicycle, in these days in a border border, Mm -hmm. it's, it's difficult, but at least she can be rushed mm. to, to a clinic and, 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 and get, the, get the support. But the reality on the ground, what wanna come badly sana, badly sana from, from the points where you get the healthcare mm. facilities. Mm. I've always been given my own personal experience when I was a member of parliament for our place. Uh, that uh, <coughs> moja nikuwa, nikuwa kwenye mkutano kusa moja naituwa Masimbani sitting under a huge mango tree sitting there talking to my henchmen and women and then barabarani kule kwa kuna watu wanapita kwenye baisikiri wanakokota kuna tenga nyuma lakini kwenye tenga kuna mtu I knew it was a patient. As to Marisa Palem Kutano, and then of course I was driving towards the same direction. I caught up with them somewhere on the way. I stopped. I asked, What is the problem? I said, Mama, I'm going to go to the school. I said, I'm going to go to the school. the other side of, of the district. Handeni. <coughs> But the nearest health center is, is on our side. It's about 25 kilometers from, from, where they, from where they live. So what I did, I said, okay, fine. So I said, rush this mama to clinic, I'll have to do it. So you, 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 you can see these are some of the chapters. Of course, Bada Palen, I went to that village. You can attend Palen Konya Health Center to check how she was progressing and saying, Padam Doto Akiume, Sakwa Shukuraniaka Kampa Jinalangu, Kasma. Of course, they, they had to do a cesarean section. Yeah. 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 Because she has been in labor for the last two yeah. days, it's very painful, yeah. so on. So th these are some of, some of those realities. Mm -hmm. Then we, that's why we took some that policy. Let's try to get a clinic within a radius of five kilometers. Yeah. It's a program we started in. So I said on retirement, I think let me continue to do this work. Mm. Do this, this work. Yeah. 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 Now, <laughs> but we said it's a very broad area. Mm. What is it that is going to be our take in this? In the in, in my experience, in the, of course, in, in the course of getting him deeply involved in these issues, of course, because I have interest in that, then I came to, to learn that where we have a competent midwifery cadre, mm, yes. two thirds of the death of women and children can be prevented. Unfortunately, we don't, we, don't, we, 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 we don't have that. We have, not been, we, we have not been able to meet the, that, 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 that particular need. Yeah. So that's why I said in my foundation, whereas we are looking at maternal and child health mm -hmm. generally, but one of the areas of focus is, uh, is, is mid development of the midweek fricada, mid fricada, so that we can we would be able to, 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 to prevent to, to take care of these two thirds of those. So that's, that's an area of course. And then of course children, children die of, uh, 
because we have a bigger problem of um, uh, neonat mortality. Because mm. we've done well with uh, under five. But while they, while they, because a, a lot of women and children die within the first 48, 72 hours. Yeah. So we, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are on children, we are, we are really working on the, on the neonats, the neonats. So I'm building, I'm building that capacity to work on that. Because the, that's, that's, that's how I can. And then of course we have young people, youth. It's an area that I've, 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 I've a lot of passion also. Uh, that's where I grew up in the youth movement. Mm. That's where I, I got molded. I, got, I was given the opportunity to learn. And maybe a lot of my leadership skills develop, developed when I was deeply involved with, with the youth leadership, <coughs> the university, in the, in the Tan Youth League, and, 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 and a number of, the, of these forums. So I said, let, let, let me also work, work on this one, on mentorship of young people, um, entrepreneurship training, leadership training. This is an area. So where are we now? Of course, we, we started. We, we had a lot of difficulties starting. But I think now, now, now we, have, uh, we have come to a point where we we, 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 can, we can now start full, full swing. Uh, we, we had a nice CEO, of course, a uh, senior, senior, senior leader, an elderly person. He's now retired. Mm -hmm. Yes. We got a young one, a young CEO. Oh. She's 33, eh? Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> and it's a she. Yeah. <laughs> very bright, very bright young lady. Of course, I was not part of the interview. But those who did the interview were uh, quite impressed with, with, this, with this young lady. Uh, she's going to be the CEO. And then we have another two ladies. We have one senior retired doctor who is going to take care of maternal and child health. Mm -hmm. But we also have a, an, 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 another young lady who is 35? Yes. <coughs> 38. Uh, 38. 38 who is now going to take up the docket of adolescent and youth. Mm -hmm. So they are all women. <laughs> <laughs> But they've been, they've been appointed on, on the basis of their competence, yeah. on their competence, so yeah. that's right. Yeah. So we, we, we think we are now going to begin with, uh, but we, are, we have we already been working on, an, on, a, on a number of programs, a number of initiatives, yeah. both for women and children. We've been doing meetings. But I think now after getting this young team, this team of, of the CEO and the program, the program mm. managers, mm. I think we will, we'll, you, you'll hear us a lot now. Okay, fantastic, and we can't wait to hear you. Asante Mwishimiwa. Now, maybe my request there is if we could then use that platform to start talking about local fundraising, homegrown philanthropy, because I think that's also something that's um, on our docket, but I won't go there now, or unless no, you have no, a no, thought. No. Well, we, well, of course, we, w w w one of the tasks that we have given to, to this team of young people of, of this team, bright ladies, is, is to work with, with to work with the with the board, now to fund to, 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 to look for funds, because we have friends who have, who have already made us contribution. They mm. give us some money. A uh, number of them are, 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 are outside, but we are also looking at working on modalities of, of, mm. of raising ra raising funds. There are mm. already people who are ready to contribute, to contribute, and we are working on that. Okay. You know, with, I know at TCDC we're very much interested in this area. Kwa Sababu, we're saying definitely from the West, it's streaming in slowly. If not in Tanzania, at least on the continent, who can we begin to mobilize around well, this conversation? Thank you around for the teaching offer. it. Ah, <laughs> no, but then we, 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 we partner with institutions like you, um, pilot things, experiment, go out, and then see how it works. And then from there, we now develop courses in mo uh, around models and how it should be done in Africa for Africans. Like you, Kidney. You, you have made my day. I've <laughs> made your day. <laughs> Ivan, when you, Ivan, when you go give him his letter of being a patron, make sure that's also on the agenda of discussion. <laughs> like Kidney, I think my final one, Kwakweli, do you have a role model? And if you do, ni nani, na kwa nini? 
Well, my, of course, Julius Nyerere is one of them. Yeah. I've been an admirer of him when I was in school. But I, I, but I have had an opportunity of working with him. Or rather working for him. Uh, I, I cannot say working with him. In my days when I was a young officer at the party, one of the recorders, I've, I've attended many of his meetings. I've attended many of his meetings. I have seen him at work. I've seen him when he takes decisions, mm. and taking up issues, taking up issues. Mm. So to me, to me, there is no model that, that compares to him. Of course, th there are so many other people that I have worked with mm. who, have, have, who, have been, who have been my models mm. somehow. Mm. I worked with Charles Kileo when, uh, when I was uh, assistant secretary and he was the Reno commissioner in Singida, I was my boss. Th there are things that, that I learned from him. There are, there are people that I've worked with in the military. There are so many things that I've learned. You know, I cannot have only, only one, but there are things that I worked with. I worked with Pius Simsekwa mm -hmm. when he was my boss. So uh, there, there, there are a number of people that I've come across in life. Mm -hmm. whom I've been. Of course, and then of course, now of course, uh, after becoming president, I've been foreign minister, mm -hmm. there are people I met in Met who have had a huge impression in me Mm. And of course, they, they, they shaped my thinking. They shaped my thinking. It, 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 it made me say, oh, I think this, this is something I've learned from this man. Uh, yeah. Let me keep it on record. Wow. So this, these yes. are some of those. To me, a, a model is a person who, who, who teaches you something. Mm. Who, from, him you, from him or her, you learn something mm. useful. And, and you, you want to emulate the example or mm. make use of the experience mm. or the examples that you have learned yes. from from him. To yes. me, this, this, this defines the model. So, no, but nobody compares to Julius Nyerere, but I have so many other, other models for, okay. the, so for the specific mm. areas, specific tasks. Some of them are my contemporaries of my same age because there are people mm. in mm. your age group that yeah. you admire. Yes, yes, yes. There are people in my age group who have been exceptional. You say, ah, and you always, because, uh, it, you know, naturally, some people, when you have somebody within your age group who is ex excelling, and, the, and some of the natural things is corner weave. Mm. Uh, you feel jealousy. But to me, I've never had that. To me, there are people within my age group who have, uh, I've always admired. I've admired the way they write. Uh, I've been copying their handwriting and so on. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But there are weave, you too. Yeah. Yeah. Even uh, amongst yourselves, th th there are some, who, some people that who, who are doing things better. Instead of you feeling jealousy and working towards pulling him down or pulling mm. him or her down. Mm. Eh? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and then you should just try to emulate the examples. Yes, yes. M my experience, my mama, in, in leadership. Oh. Kwanza, what I learned about, um, not everybody, but wanawake hampendani sana. Yo, I reject. That's a narrative that's been stuck on us and I'm rejecting it, Moshimiwa. Rejecting it. Apana, tunapendana. Kabisa, tunapendana. Mnataka kushift narrative ili tudhania hatupendani, lakini tunapendana. Listen from me. Okay, I'm listening. I'm listening. Listen from experience. Listen from experience. Uh, you, 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 you may wish it were that way. <laughs> no, no, no. Rejecting. I reject <laughs> Lakini, I have seen. I, I, I have seen in, 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 in my positions of leadership. The people who talk a lot ill about others mm. will be their women. Na kuanza kufikiria kama amefika hapa alilala na nani. Uchukia tu lakini na kuwa untelio the truth. Yeah. Hey, there will be discussion about kalala na nani, rafiki yake ni nani. You, do, you don't see a lot of that wa, kwa wanaume. Mm. No. Mm. 
Lakini nasema hivi it, 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 it is something that you have, you 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 you, you have Nyinyi wanawake mkitaka 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 progress la kwanza adui wenu wa kwanza ni nyinyi wenyewe Sikiliza uh, my moderation is becoming very difficult no, now. No, no. Uh, you, you, you should also be, be ready to. Uh, yes, you yes. You should also be ready to, to listen to the things that you don't like to listen. Uh, I am. I want to sit here. No, I want to sit here. Sisi katika sisi ya. Our biggest strength is the support from women. But where, when I was president, I was taking deliberate measures to, to nominate women to be candidates. But they always lose elections. Those very women, ambongi wategemea kwamba watakwenda kumsupport mwanamu kimwezao, they vote for a man. If if you want to deny that truth, fine. <laughs> <laughs> no comment, mheshimiwa. Ndio maana katika wingi wenu nyinyi mngekuwa where we have women candidates wangekuwa na shinda. Lakini wakati mwingine ah kwani apate bwana. So but you have to come out of that. These are some of the things that you have to sit down and discuss. How, how do you mobilize women to support women? I hear you. If you can succeed in that, you, you'll take over the leadership. Amen. I agree with that. Okay, I, thank but, you. Uh, but I don't, I don't agree with the fundamental reason. I, don't, I think there's so much in our culture and heritage that gives us those perceptions. But yeah. I, yeah, no. but we're going to leave it there, Moshimiwa. I am accepting <laughs> to get a different opinion <laughs> as I sit here. Like in the Hyundai Lukwa Salila Mwisho. In life, no one has to found a champion who found in life. Asante. We tayari kusikiliza mawazo mbadala. Mawazo tofauti na yako. Amina. Amina. Eh, kwa sababu wakati mwingine mawazo tofauti na yako unaweza kuwa huyapendi. Yeah. Lakini hebu he, just sit down na utafute ule ukweli. Ndio maana mimi nimekufikisha mpaka kwenye hiyo sasa ya uchaguzi. Asante. <laughs> 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 ili 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 uanze kujua kwamba there, there is something somewhere that that you men have go, need need to do better. Ah okay. Eh. Asante. You have numerical I'm going strength to accept that. that you have not yet utilized. Yeah. Asante. <laughs> <laughs> Asante Moshimi, a round of applause for Moshimi wa Jamani. Asante mno. Asante sana. Asante. Okay. Yes. Yes. Asante. Fantastic. Wow. Okay. Wow. Amazing. Mheshimiwa asante sana. Personally I've come to the end of my questions. Nilikuwa nataka kualika the people who won the social media challenge ili wapige picha na wewe there will be no questions and then I also wanted to take some preferential treatment for watoto wa jukuu ambao sasa na hisi watakuwa juku wako kama wapo wapige picha na wewe. Walikua, But wa, I'm also wa, giving you Wapo 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 naona wamekusanywa hapa. No niliona alikaa mahali flani. Ah wengine wako huku. Okay. Lakini ah, well, I'm now. also giving you the discretion mshima mimi nimemaliza lakini there are people hungry to ask you questions wananitumia messages sija no, uliza well, any well, of well, them. so kindly now uh, <laughs> no le, okay mo, moja ni hivi tuseme tukamba how long are we staying here um, no you help, you help us wait no 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 nyi, nyi ndio yenye ratiba yenu No, because you, you, you can decide on how many questions you can ask. Abella you, will you, moderate this. Can yes. we say Max? Ah, okay. Tunampwa watoto wapige picha wakalale, alafu ndo tutaendelea. Wale wakubwa kabisa wale. 
Yeah, these are the Daddy most senior. These are the most senior people. Hey, hey. how are you? Uh, you are. Oh, Safi. Uh -huh. Yes. Which one? Which one? Oh, let's. Don't 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 lecture. Yeah. <laughs> the only one who the only one who has the right to lecture is me. <laughs> the rest of you guys ask questions. Oh, gives very brief ideas. Maraba. mechanism <laughs> Mimi ndani niko nataka niulize nyie vijana baada ya kuniuliza mimi. Lile baraza nililowatengenezea kisheria liko wapi? Iro nshajibu ilo. Lapili, wapili. Maraba. Musiangai kena kutuwa shikamo, eh? Metosha. Nena waya kwa mja kwa mja kwa mja. Wote nye nishawa pashima o marahaba, wote. Eh. Yes. In most cases, we find that the people who need to pass the policies that would allow us to do the things we want to do, the pace is not does not move as fast as we're moving. And one of the things that happens is we end up going into silos. Some end up moving into private <coughs> private sector. Others end up giving up on the work. Now, what are the things that you have in your experience that we can do to make sure that we keep the fire burning, regardless the number of challenges we face, especially? from those people that we look up to to really push the change that we're trying to push. Mm. One, one thing I, I would like young people to, to know is that you must be interested in being present in every aspect of human life. Even in the private sector, we need young people. 
because she was saying, oh, because we end up in the private sector. In the private sector also, we, we need young people. And go there. Go into the banking sector in leadership of, many of, of a number of enterprises. There are young people there who are in office now, which always impresses me. Of course, you're not very much present in the decision-making processes. One, you have to come forward to volunteer because, you know, <clears throat> in political leadership, if it is elective positions, you, you, you have to come forward. And that, that is where I, I'm saying you, 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 have, you have to get organized. Because a lot, a lot of, the, of the voters are young people. Why are young people not being elected? Mimi Nili Pogombea 1995, first time. Tulishinda pale kwenye ule mkutano mkuu wa CCM ule. Kwa sababu kwa sababu apiga kura wengi ni vijana pa. <laughs> eh, hey, the first one round, first round. So you have to you have to organize and, and mobilize your base. You know, if you don't mobilize your base to support each other, don't expect to wazee sisi wa miaka 70 tuje tukusaidie. So <coughs> I remember when we went in the first time in 1995. We, we, we mobilized that, 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 that youth base, Pali Kwenye Ule Mkutano. Was there where they did not know what hit them? Well, Buja Ugundua Badai Wakona, eh? So you have to find ways of mobilizing your base. And on this one, don't wait for Waze Kwasaidi and Kui mobilize. And you, you, are better, you are better off now. You have a lot of means for mobilization. Since we know how to go now, how to go now on our social media, we do not have it. But without the social media, we, 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 we just created. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful networks that, that, that you are quite strong. Of course, you, 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 you need systems that are also friendly to be able to, to take deliberate action to, to, to bring young people up. That's why I can, I can, I can talk from experience from, from our party. When our party decided that in the National Executive Committee, of CCM, and uh, to all levels, we must have robust youth representation. When we had 90 seats, of the 90 seats, we started with five for youth. Then the number was increased to 10. So that, 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 that's, that's how I first joined the National Executive Committee. I joined the National Executive Committee of CCM the highest policy making body of the party through the youth. The, the five seats they allocated for youth. That's why I contested this seat and I won. Eh? Then, then we, we increased the number. When I, when, I, when I was chairman, we increased the number to 10. So you, 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 need, you, need, you need this, 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 this kind of support. That uh, uh, those of us who are in leadership have to help the young people. But young people have to get organized to advance themselves, to help themselves to, 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 to advance themselves. So in the, in the special seats for women, 
There are specific seats for you for, 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 young, for young women. Ndiyo wame ingia wengi wa vijana, wa sichana vijana, wa mumle. So, one, you have to organize, you have to network, you have to support each other. Of course, you also need the, the support of the, of the elders. Mi nipokuwa, nipokuwa raisi. Kwenye district commissioners ni tewa sana vijana vijana district commissioners, regional commissioners, vijana wadogo tu. And, and nipokuwa tewa kama kina shigera wale. Nilambia kina shigera, na poe hata au na ni umlisho gambo. Nipokuwa tewa kuwa 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 wilaya. Nikambia, na wapeni nyinyi kama wakuwa wilaya kama vijana, and your challenge is to prove that young people can be trusted. Because yeah. yeah. you, you, you guys are, represent, are representing your, your age group. Mkienda kule sasa mnafanya mambu ya ovyo ovyo. Ujana unakuwa mwingi zaidi. Unakuwa maradizo. Hata hata nani. Hata makonda ni mtewa miku wa kwa mkua wilaya. Pumaliza chuo kiku. Hey. Sasa. Yes, I, 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 I trusted these young people. Ni watewa vijana wakati mingine. Kuna kipipe tutewa wala nani baadhi wako kwa wasichana wadogo wadogo wana wana zema hao mamodo wa rais. It's just a, a joke. Lakini shoka mabulo kwa mama wala kini. Lakini how in, those of us in leadership should take deliberate action kukuachukua vijana. Give them positions of leadership. You learn when you get an opportunity. Give them an opportunity to learn. That's how they build experience. We start to experience. How are experience? Na mkumbuka Shigera na Halima na nani mwingine watatu na niwi Erasto Sima uyu. Hey. I took them from well, Pukwa University. I had a lot of working a lot with young people in the university. I, I, I appointed them. I said, you guys, I'm going to make you district commissioners. And then we went to William Kapenchama. There, there were a number of them. I, I, I appointed a number of young people to be deputy ministers. But my idea was make them deputy ministers. Mm -hmm. Let them build experience. After some time, eh, eh, and the waze wale, tutawasogeza, hawa vijana watachukua na fasa. Dutrifu ingiasi, mimi I became deputy minister at the age of 38. And then I became minister at the age of 40. In fact, I was 39 before, before becoming 40. Lakini, unapata na fasi, and then it's through that uh, give her the opportunity. Usi seme tukamba, hatuja kwa, hatuja kwa, una ni, uwezo wako, uongozi, hauja jitokeza. Una jitokeza aje kama humpi mtu na fasi. Yeah. 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 Hmm. Lakini, invest in your future. Na investing in your future is when you invest in your young people. Tanu pale walipo Walipo, walipo tuchukua sisi from university. We're just young people. They took about 25 of us. Kwanza akatupeleka kwenye mikoa. From there, baadae ndo wana, wananza kutuwa pale, wana kupeleka hapa, wana kupeleka hapa. Nge tumezunguka tumikuwa mingi. Lakini, that, that one itself was a training process. What, the, the investment that Tano made for us, we became national leaders at, at, at 30 years later. <laughs> yeah, have patience. Kasabu, what are our young people? Loasa came from the youth league, went into Tano. Many of our Kinana, Kinana, we were together in the youth movement. Ana makinda tulikuwa upawujua kwenye youth league. Yeah. Yeah. 
sisi walipounda youth league ya CCM ya vijana ile youth league sisi sisi ndio tulikuwa baraza kula kwanza walipo meji ASP youth league na youth league kinana mimi ana makinda mkoa moja azana jabdi marehemu ndio tulikuwa tulikuwa wajumbe wa kwanza wa, wa kamati ya utekelezaji ya taifa ya, ya umoja wa vijana so, but, but the, 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 this is the investment so create an opportunity for young a place where young people can learn that's why baraza la vijana ni muhimu eh yeah. uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> that's why we, we we created that institution eh yeah. that's why baraza la vijana ni muhimu lakini to, to be used your, your good offices work mtafuteni atakaye kuja kuwa waziri wa vijana eh yeah. mwende mkamuone tu baraza unalianzisha lini eh yeah. unaona yeah. okay <clears throat> give them an opportunity lakini sio tu mpote opportunity you also have got to organize yourself and these days it is easier to organize than, than during our times kuna swali hapa mheshimiwa lakini utatuongoza ukiwa tayari kuondoka si tutaendelea kuuliza sasa sawa nitakuwa nachukua pia na maswali na nchi nyingine other countries yeah so we have a swali from uh, John from South Sudan and John has a book that he also want to give you if you can allow him he wrote it thank you very much uh, his excellency I'm John Johannes from the land of great abundance, South Sudan. Uh, land of great abundance. Land of great abundance. What a name. I'm, I'm John Johannes. Uh, my question is short, and plus I want to give you a copy of my book. What would be your top three advice to the current serving African presidents? Top three advices. And I want to give you my, the copy of my book, it is under the title The Forgotten Youth of a Nation, a guide book for young hustlers. I believe I'm a hustler and I believe all those young people here are hustlers. We hustle <laughs> to be represented. We are hustling for inclusion. So, Your Excellency, I want to give you a copy of my book and I hope uh, you will go through it. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Maybe I will take a picture. <laughs> of course, you know, the people of South Sudan are always tall. So I do not want him to, to stand there and, and they appear as if I'm taller than him. And since John, you are one among the social media winners, you've gotten your photo already. <laughs> okay. Um, the question is, the three things that I would, I would tell uh, sitting presidents. Mambo ni mengi. Govern well. Love your people. Be patriotic. Do you have any question from Rwanda? And, and the other one was about youth, eh? No, he's just giving his book. Oh. Yeah, the forgotten youth of a nation. Well, I, I, wish you, I wish you the best of luck, South Sudan. You know, there was a time President Salva Kiel spoke to me that the problem in, the, in South Sudan is the split within the SPLA, S, uh, the SPLM. So he wanted army to, to assist. We, we brought your leaders here. We, we spent some time at Ngurudoto to bring them together to talk. They and what I did was because they were not talking amongst themselves. I said, the first thing is you talk among yourselves. If you are stuck, you'd be there to assist. Amazing. They were able to define their problems. <laughs> they were able to define their solutions. And what we did is just to bring them onto the table to sign what they've, what they've been able to agree. Well, but I think there was a problem with political will they agreed and then they went back fought again but 
But I, but I, 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 I we, we really wish you well. We wish you every success. <laughs> the newest nation to break down a few months or a few years after, af, after independence, that's quite sad. Okay. Any question from Uganda, Rwanda, or Kenya? All right, then I'll come here. So I'll take a male and a female. Hi, Moshimiwa. Hello. Um, you spoke about something that really tickled me okay. to ask more about it. And um, you said, um, Shida wanaki atupendani. That, that's one of the problems. Yeah. Of course, there, 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 that, that, that is one aspect that we have got to deal with it. But mm. of course, there, there, are, there are social, cultural Exactly. So I wanted more from mm. you yes. about what, what do you think, what is the real problem while we have few female executives? Why do we have like few female executives? That's it. Asante. Well, of course, it, the first thing is those in, a, in positions of appointment should also trust women. When I, when, uh, when I became president, I had a lot of concern with, the, with fewer women in the judiciary system the judges and magistrates. So I made a, de a, a deliberate decision that whenever I, I do appointments of judges, when I get proposal of a woman, I would choose the woman first and then look for the man. <laughs> That's why when I left office, Tanzania has the highest number of women judges because of that deliberate action. <laughs> so you, 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 you need to do that deliberately when, when, when you're in position of leadership in order to, to prop up women into, to, into, into leader, le, leadership positions. That is one. When it comes to positions that are technical, technological, well, It's competence. But again, those who are, who are in the positions of influence, positions of leadership, if, if we have to, to, to propel women, to prop up women into leadership, they have to take that de deliberate decision that if there is a man and a woman mm. fighting for the same position, yes. take a woman there yes. if we have with the competence. Uh, of course, Kuna. So, But I have seen that there are a number of of, of of women in, 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 uh, executives, particularly in the, in, in the, in the banking sector. Mm, mm. In the banking sector, I think, in the, in the banking sector, there is a lot of trust in, 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 in women. Sometimes I'm one of them, I mean, if you don't win, I don't win your pesa pesa even. If you have one of your pesa, I'm not going to say that. If you have one of them, but it, it, as, as I'm saying, that, uh, I, 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 mm. it, it all depends upon those who are in position of leadership to be conscious and to be, to be, to be conscious of the, of the need for affirmative action. Mm. If, if affirmative action is not there, na hizi kachuro, kachuro, na hizi trizo kwa nazo hizi. Is a cultural thinking that is a tabu sana. Women will always be kept on the, on, on the, on the yeah. background. You are now my school daughter and a tangulia and belly, and I can't can you moko. When no man has ungumza, and I can't conduct one be what to Miss Emma. 
ina tabu lakini hatutoka hatu, hatu, huko kwa muda kwa kwa it is not easy to change that one culture ile eh hivi utaimaliza kwenye wamasai <laughs> nani mwanamke wa kimasai hapa mm. wewe unaweza ukasema mbele wanaume wewe ndio kwa mimi na na malaigwa nani wa kimasai kwa hatu alofikia kielimu kwa nafikiri jamii inaenda ikibadilika okay okay oh, ah. mimi naku compliment umefikia hatu gani wewe Oh fine. A aquatic. Hmm? Aquatic. Gender, gender studies. Gender studies. Okay, nizani aquatic say Masai amekwenda kusomea samaki. Ya kwa mapinduzi makubwa. No. Una, unajua mimi nasema hivi Mmeza wana style kukupa compliments. And, and, and time is changing. Time has changed. We going to be an experience. W one of the things that we did with is secondary zakata. Also to to promote equality in the country. Sio kwamba Mana mana waliosoma wengi wako uchagani wako uhayani wako unyakiusa sio kwamba hawa wana akili sana na watanzania wengine wote hawana akili the only that they got the opportunity, opportunity. yes 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 na walioleta elimu ni wa missionary Wapisionari chose the places where the weather was good for them. Mm, mm, mm. Kule 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 kwenye 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 mavumbi kule ya Shinyanga Shinyanga kule was not favorable to them. Unasikia? <laughs> <laughs> hey. Eh. Kwa ndio maana wamekuja wamekuja Northern Highlands, wamekwenda Southern Highlands, eh na kule Kibukoba kule the weather is is is, is good. Mm. Kwa hiyo tulipo tulipoanzisha secondary za kata we are now in every ward there is going to be a secondary school. Mm, mm, mm. It created an opportunity for every part of Tanzania mm. to have people who have access to secondary mm. school education and they would go beyond that. Yes. Tumeanza the program. Tupanze the program nifanya ziara mkoa wa Arusha ukwenda pale Monduli sema inaitwa mti mmoja pale mm. eh, au mtu wa Masai mm. they were organizing amongst themselves we una ngombe wengi we utajenga we mzee wewe ndo la, la, la iboni we na ngombe wengi we utajenga the administration block nyi mtajenga madarasa tulikwenda kitumbe ine kule tumbeine I, i went to, to cop, open a secondary school Nimekuta wasichana wa Kimasai pale. Nilikuwa nawauliza. Mhm. Mm Kama usingekuwa shule wewe ungekuwa wapi? Sasa angekwisha olewa. Mhm. Mm -hmm. So we gave them an opportunity. Wewe usingepata opportunity ya kwenda shule. Mhm. Ungekuwa sasa ni mother mama watoto wanne wa tano. Yes. Yes. So that's why education also is a liberator give opportunity to this to this. so th those those young girls amba lakini ni zile circumstances tu kwamba sasa yuko pale kijijini na anaolewa ni watu wa wazee wame wamekaa wamekubali tu mzee fulani anakwenda naoa mtoto na kuna achukua ndito ana kwenda zake anaoa so mimi nakupa compliments wa tulihangaika kweli wakati mmoja hapa dole njola alipokuwa mkuu mkuu mkoa hapa pale pale ngaresero ngaresero ile kule lekinatu wanku 
Kulikuwa na mzee mmoja pale kamtoa mtoto shule kamuoa. Eh. Mm. Tukasema bwana hatukubali huyo ni huyo 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 ni mtoto wa serikali. Mm. Wewe mkwenda kuoa serikali, uwezi kuioa serikali. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Ile mzee akawa aka amepanda kule mlima Odonyo Lengai kule akawa anaishi kule anakimbia kule. So we have had those those problems. Yes. Kwa hiyo una, una style compliments. Lakini Hunger. natamani sana the Maasai nation. Yote iwe na, na muamko kama wa hawa mahali gwena na anakwenda kukupongeza ku, ku, wewe. Amen. Yes. Lakini mi kule kwetu kule kuna wa Maasai kule. Na mmoja rafiki yangu anaitwa Majaliwa. Amezaa mtoto wa kiume. Akamwita Kikwete. Mhm. <laughs> Siku moja akaniambia rafiki <laughs> Hii <laughs> mtoto hii anaitwa Kikwete. Sasa hii somesha wewe. Eh. Sasa Sasa na mimi napata problem mtoto ameitwa Kikwete. <laughs> Alafu akawa hakupata elimu. Mm. Nikamleta ni Longido huko kuja kusoma huko. Eh. Na mimi Oh dear. <laughs> Ongera sana bwana. Ongera. <laughs> Asante sana. Kule kwa wakuria kule. Hey. We built a secondary school pale. Tunao kaita jina Salma Kikwete Secondary School pale pale Nata pale Nata somewhere. Nilikwenda kufungua ile shule. Wasichana wawili, wasichana 20 hawakuja. Hawakuja shule. Nikauliza wako hapo shaolewa. Siko hiyo sasa. Ndio ndio matatizo kweli tunayo hayo na na maana in leadership kama hakutakuwa deliberate effort za ku support women. Oh watabaki nyuma. Mm. mm. Huko kwenye kwenye makabila yetu huko. Mm. mm. <laughs> Kuna tabu kwa hiyo. <laughs> of course things life is cha- li- li- life is changing. Ndio. Life is changing. Life is changing makabila yana yana change. Eh. Ongera sana. Asante. Hongera sana. To, to post those photographs in the social media. Kabisa. Kuna right. G- give the, the caption. Kwamba here is a here is a Maasai a young Maasai woman eh being co- being congratulated eh by Wai Gwenan eh. Lakini angalia si mmoja hapa akapendekeza kukuoa. Ah kwambia nimekushaweka ngombe tayari. Mheshimiwa Asante, that was the last contribution well, Asante. Sana for your extra time. That was brilliant. Asante ni everybody. This was fantastic and this is what we need. Shukran sana everyone. Exactly what we needed. Asante ni sana. Now Benny come here running because you don't have time. There's an Angela from Angela Francis. Angela Francis Tanzania. So John Jonas. Twitter. John has already taken a picture. Okay. Um, I want them to do it all together. Dot representative and TYVA representative. Joni hapa kwa mpigo pigeni picha and then we call it a day. One representative one, please. One, please. One, one representative please. Okay. Sasa hawa ndio wamefanya nini? Hawa kulikuwa kuna campaign. Nani anaweza kurusha hii event kwenye social media um, vizuri? Uh, ikaonekana kwenye Instagram kuna Angela Francis ambao ndo alikuwa na hits nyingi kwenye Twitter John Jonas uh, kutoka South Sudan, alafu organizational accounts TYVA na Dot ndo alipata nafasi ya kwanza Thank kwenye social guys. media. Asante sana. Mwishi. Okay. Just now. Yes. Kuna nyuma huko nyuma mheshimiwa tuko njoo huko kwa sala. Yeah. kwa sala. Na mheshimiwa kwa sababu tunaongelea tunaongelea wanawake na special seat naomba kumtambua Ngwasi Kamani. She just won special seats in Mwanza and she joined the parliament for the first time. Yes. 
Okay, Mashama Lisa Picha. Fantastic. Asante ni kila mtu makofi tena kwa mwishimiwa. Mwishimiwa tunakukaribisha dina. Kila mtu tunakaribisha dina. Please come for dina. Karibuni dina. Karibuni chakula cha usiku. Karibuni. Kwa dina tafadhali tunomba basi tukai chini kidogo. Tusikilizane. Tunomba tukai chini kidogo. Ili mwishimiwa atoke kwanza. Sawa. Tunelekea kula se mmoja wote tafadhali. Tusubili kwanza. Tusubili mwishimiwa atoke kwanza. Alafu tukaelekea wote kula se mmoja wote. Lakini tunomba tafadhali tusimzonge. Tuena heshima tusimzonge tafadhali. Hi, my name is uh, Denis Otieno and I work for Shule Direct as a monitoring and evaluation manager. I also facilitate trainings at Lotto Hub. So here at MSTCDC, we have partnered with DOT Tanzania to provide entrepreneurship training to 10 young innovative youth so that they can bring change in their communities. My experience so far has been one of the most most amazing experiences in the startup ecosystem ever since I got into such challenges. And uh, what do I really mean here? I've gotten to meet some of the people I've always wanted to meet. I've met uh, the founder of uh, Mtabe, uh, Given. He's a, he's a very wonderful mentor, I've shared with him. I've met um, uh, Nyalandu, uh, founder of um, Shule Direct, which has really given me lots of insights. I've also met um, so many other leaders here that are, that are pushing me to engage into how to, to get Kenya Africa in the Tanzanian market. So we have been to different hubs. So there's one called Twende, uh, there's one called Anza Tanzania, and there's one called uh, Ubuntu. So these hubs are also hubs which are working in Arusha to bring, to help young people to uh, bring changes in their communities in, 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 in whichever innovative idea that they have. So the upcoming summit, that's the ULID summit. This summit is, is, is very amazing, it's very big. This is something that is putting together all the six East African countries. Now, pitching on a stage, I mean to a market that has got six countries right in front of you, is like the most amazing thing for an upcoming startup founder like I am. I would love to call upon youths to join in uh, because it's going to be physical as well as virtual training. So I would uh, love to welcome all the youths to join in all corners of the world. I encourage um, anyone out there, you your startup founder, your an ecosystem uh, beneficiary, find your way to get to participate in the ULIT Summit. And uh, all together we're going to bring development in Africa. Thank you.
Mekata Suambi wale wako live Thank you.